This morning we have a weather question coming from Zephyr Hills High School, our 10 News School of the Week powered by Duke Energy Florida. Hello, my name is Rachel Bissett. I'm a freshman at Zephyr Hills High School and my question is, how do you measure wind speeds? Rachel, good question. You know, something that we've been talking a lot about is wind speeds, especially with the wildfires out in California this week. They had wind gusts out there uh, propelling those fires over 70 miles per hour. So how do we measure wind speeds? Maybe not as easy as you might think. We use this device right here called a cup anemometer and named rightfully so because of the cups that are around the the frame here of this anemometer. There's a four cup anemometer like we have here and there's also a three cup anemometer both used for for different things but basically get the same result and they're great because they can measure the speed of the wind regardless of what direction it's coming from that wind speed is caught up in the concave side of the cup there in the anemometer so when the wind begins to blow it will spin the anemometer so how does that work well a little math for you this morning i know it's early 526 right now but if we find the circumference of the anemometer, which we'll call C, and you're able to count, which this is all done by a computer within the, the anemometer itself, if you count the number of rotations that occur within a minute, and then you multiply that by the circumference, you're able to get, if you measure it in inches, the inches that it goes every minute, you're able to then calculate that to be the miles per hour that the wind is blowing. Good question, Rachel.